hello i am shaheen and this is another development log for the game i can human today i'll be talking about two different problems which had one combined solution problem 1 was a sense of direction one of the levels that we made accidentally got a bit too big ravel ravi had designed the level sort of like a metroidvania in which you could go to the left collect something come back to the right something else might have opened then you will have to go up then there might be several branching paths to choose from and then you'll have to go to the initial position again something like that so throughout the level you might be going up down left right and some of the play testers were getting a bit confused they were telling that they were feeling a bit lost and were unsure whether they were going in the correct direction and they were asking whether there could be a map of the whole level I was not too keen on the idea because there were hidden areas you could find out on your own and most of the levels were not that huge that it would need a map but then the more I thought about it another scenario was that if you would quit the game and then come back and play several months later and you might resume in the middle of a level so at that point you wouldn't be able to know whether you had to go to the left or right or wherever so i was thinking of what solution could be found and initially i was thinking that if we press a key on your keyboard or joystick an arrow would pop out from our character tupel pointing towards where we have to go but i was not too interested in that idea because it's another control that the players will have to learn just for showing a direction so i kept it aside for a long while but i knew that something had to be done problem 2 was checkpoints Throughout the level we had scattered across lots of invisible checkpoints such that whenever you die you will be revived over there and additionally there was also whenever you are leaving a level midway you can save and quit so whichever exact point you were at while exiting the level you will be revived back there problem was that if you had quit the level when you were just above a deathly area then when you resume the level you instantly fall to your death then you revive back into that dangerous area itself and fall back to your death again revive die revive die revive die and the only way to escape the loop was to restart the level so that was not a good thing and now comes the solutions 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 I made the checkpoints into visible things in the level such that as a player you can see where it is and when you touch the checkpoint the game will be saved over there even if you quit wherever you'll be revived back at that point so it was much safer that way and each checkpoint felt like a safe place to reach and into the checkpoint itself i added an arrow which points towards where you have to go such that even if you quit the game and after several months you resume gameplay the checkpoint will be there to show you where to go on top of that i added a feature such that i can make the checkpoint point towards a different direction if something else happens within the game so as a player you visually know that something has changed and you have to head somewhere else now So now the checkpoints are also working and also the problem of feeling lost might hopefully be reduced. The artwork for the checkpoint is still in progress, but meanwhile you can wish list I can human on Steam. Hopefully there's a demo coming soon. Till then, bye bye.